Whether you're beginning or ending your day, I hope you know how lucky you are to have been given it. And what better way to say thank you to God than these 10 minutes of prayer we have together. Thank you for joining us. This is the God Minute. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open my lips. And And my my mouth mouth shall shall declare declare your grace. Psalm 133. Unity. O God, how precious it is for us, and how pleasing it must be to you when your children learn how to live and work together in unity. It is in the measure that we do this that we begin to resemble you and to carry out more effectively your purposes in our world. Come, let us bless his name together. Rejoice in his loving concern for us. Declare his worth to all creatures and walk in obedience to his will. The same God made heaven and earth and all who dwell here. Let us worship and serve him together. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 12. Jesus said to his disciples, Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I suspect that, uh, like me, you have colleagues, friends, or family members who can be long-winded in their speech. Perhaps you are among those who often use many words to get your point across. Truth be told, we all know someone who can talk our ear off. And yes, there are moments when we need this kind of chatter. There are also times when a pithy saying or statement will suffice, especially when the proverb we hear or the brief saying captures our imagination. Jesus, today, gives us one of those instances when less is more, and brevity is golden. His words are direct, short, and full of meaning. Do unto others whatever you would have them do to you. It's worth noting that this saying is only one of a few others found in chapter 7. There we also hear Jesus saying, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Or, beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but underneath are ravenous wolves. Similarly, he says, Enter through the narrow gate, For the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to perdition. And again he remarks, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. His advice to all of us doesn't need much explanation. Like the disciples, we can intuit what Jesus is conveying. We are to do what is good, just, and fair. We are to do unto others what is beautiful, kind, and generous. For the followers of Jesus, his message is clear. We are to follow in his footsteps. We are to bear good fruit. This, he says, is the law and the prophets. Jesus indeed shows us the way forward. 
we can take great consolation in knowing that in our human efforts we are not alone. God will give us what we need, as Jesus reminds us. If you, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more would your Heavenly Father give good things to those who ask Him? Let us ask God the Father for the good things that will make us more like Jesus. Let us ask God the Father for those good things that will bring us closer to those we love and those we still need to love more intentionally. Together, as a God Minute family, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And so we pray. Draw us forth, God of all creation. Draw us forward and away from limited certainty into the immense world of your love. Give us the capacity to even for a moment taste the richness of the feast you give to us. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the God of all blessing and wonder be with you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us today, friends. May the peace of Christ be with you, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>